see this question see this question consider a simple weighted graph all all edge weights are distinct edge weights weighted graph their edges are the distinct edge weights okay which of the following statement about the minimal spanning tree of g is true which of the statement of minimal spanning tree is is true okay the edge with second smallest weight is always part of the minimal spanning tree see these are the distinct edge weights okay if you take any graph whose edges are distinct okay if you take any graph whose edges are distinct edge weights okay either four vertices or five vertices okay any graph the edge weights are distinct it may be complete connected graph also or may not be complete connected graph also let's assume that all edges their edge weights are distinct okay so let's say let's say this edge weight 1 and this edge weight 2 and this edge weight 3 and this edge weight 4 and okay so this edge weight is 5 this edge weight is 6 this edge weight is 7 and this edge weight is 8 and this edge weight is 9 and this is 10 okay so these are the vertices of the graph assume that a b c d okay distinct edge weights edge weights are distinct okay the edge with second smallest weight is always part of any minimal spanning tree of g okay see first minimum and second minimum both of them is always part of the mst because the first min cost edge first min cost edge definitely form not form cycle with the second min cost edge okay so if edge weights are distinct second smallest weight okay of the of the uh, edge okay second smallest weight of the edge guaranteed part of mst first smallest anyhow part of the mst if it is a distinct edge weights okay now see third minimum may not be mst because the first minimum and second minimum if it is adjacent first minimum and second minimum if it is adjacent okay the third minimum if it is become like this edge cost then it has to be excluded in the mst third minimum can be formed cycle with the first and second minimum okay and if third minimum not form the cycle if third minimum not form the cycle then third minimum will come into the mst okay so for example for example this is the this is the graph okay this is the graph and 4 and 5 let's say one more edge also in the graph it is 6 now now this mst first minimum guaranteed part of mst second minimum guaranteed part of mst the third minimum forming cycle okay then this fourth, fourth minimum is in the mst okay in case in case the third minimum is not form cycle with first and second minimum in case third minimum not form cycle with first and second minimum okay let's say this is the other graph this is the other graph let's say first minimum is here okay so second minimum is here and third minimum is here this is fourth minimum and fifth minimum and sixth minimum now this this is a different graph not that graph i am just written different graph okay both are two different graphs okay first minimum is in mst second minimum is in mst and third minimum is in, in mst okay first minimum second minimum first minimum second minimum always guaranteed part of mst okay so then then the third minimum may in mst or may not in mst if third minimum forms the cycle with first and second minimum third minimum not exclude in mst then fourth minimum should be in mst if third minimum not form cycle with first and second minimum third minimum itself is in mst okay so that means one of one of the both edges one of the one are both sorry one are both of the edges third smallest and the fourth smallest are part of any minimal spanning tree okay so here either one or both either one or both okay both can be in the mst also okay if it is more edges required so for example for example this if if more edges required okay if the graph with more than more than three or four edges required okay this kind of graph is there 
may be complete connected or may not be complete connected just for idea see this first minimum is somewhere here second minimum is somewhere here and third minimum is somewhere here and fourth minimum is somewhere here and remaining edges are like this 5 6 7 okay 8 9 10 okay total 10 edges 1 to 10 now if you if you observe here okay the first minimum anyhow in the mst second minimum always in the mst if distinct edge weights third minimum also in the mst as well as fourth minimum also in the mst okay so one of the other possibility first and second minimum is in mst then third minimum is forming the cycle if it is forming the cycle then fourth minimum in mst fourth minimum in mst okay then fifth and sixth also can form the cycle then seventh minimum is come to the next mst if fifth and sixth is forms the cycle so now either either third minimum okay either only third minimum okay are only fourth minimum are third and fourth both minimums okay must be part of mst either one or both of the third small and fourth small should be in mst is also true statement okay suppose s is subset are equal to v suppose s is subset are equal to v s not equal to empty s not equal to v means all vertices okay v is the set of all vertices consider consider okay edge with minimum weight such that one of its vertex in s and other v minus s v but not s okay it is logically means that v vertices set minus s vertices set v minus s such that an edge will always be part of minimal spanning tree so this is the exactly logic of the prims algorithm okay this is the logic of okay so prims algorithm prims algorithm works based on this criteria based on this criteria the criteria is okay so for example for example if you take this vertex is in mst if this vertex is in mst okay this mst vertex is s which is not equal to phi this is s is the mst vertex and this remaining vertices are outside remaining vertices are outside which is v minus s all vertices minus s and this is s okay then there is a edge between there is a edge between s to v minus s what is possibility of this edge this edge this edge this edge this edge means out of all these edges min cost edge of them min cost edge of them must be part of any mst so this min cost edge of this cut must be in mst so this edge is come to the mst now this edge is come to the mst now now ab is in the mst ab in the mst now this s set is becomes this s set is becomes ab okay this s set is become a b okay v minus s set is become c d e v minus s set is become c d e again apply the same thing okay there is a edge between there is a edge between s to v minus s with min cost edge it means min cost edge of this cut min cost edge of this cut who is min cost edge of this cut 2 2 must be part of mst 2 must be part of mst and that edge is added into mst that edge is added into MST. Now, now this edge is also added into MST according to Prim's algorithm. Okay. Now this set is become S. This set is become S, and this is become V minus S. So S to V minus S, S to V minus S, min cost edge. Okay. So this set is becomes S, and this set is become V minus S. S to V minus S, min cost edge. Min cost edge means this cut min cost edge min cost edge of this cut 7 8 4 okay so 5 and 9 and 6 4 is the must be part of mst 4 is must be part of mst then according to prims algorithm according to prims algorithm next this edge is added next this edge is added okay if this edge is added then this c and d also came to mst the c and d also came to mst now s is becomes s is becomes a b c d okay this s is becomes a b c d okay this is the s and this is the v minus s v minus s min cost edge of this cut min cost edge of this cut is 7 
must be part of MST. Okay, it is exactly logic of the prims. Okay, so the completely completely prims design is based on this lemma or or we can say uh, rule or theorem whatever we call. Okay, statement which is always true. Okay, this this lemma or this theorem is used for prims design prims design of the minimal sca minimal spanning tree construction. Okay, so this is also true statement. Valid statement or correct statement. Okay, G has a multiple minimal spanning trees. Okay, so because edge weights are distinct. Okay, because edge weights are distinct. Okay, so spanning trees is always unique. So more than one MST not possible. Okay, so if edge weights are distinct. Okay. If edge weights are distinct, then only unique MST is possible. Only unique MST is possible. More than one MST not possible for such a graph. Okay, so got it? This is the uh, uh, false statement. So the correct statements of this question is A, B, C. Okay. The first one is first and first and second is observation. Second smallest and first smallest is always part of MST if edge weights are distinct. Okay, one among one among two or both of them, third minimum and fourth minimum, one or both of them among third minimum and fourth minimum must be part of MST. The third statement is logic of prims and fourth statement is false statement. So answer to this question is A B C, right?